Panorama TV presents How They Do That, where we explore the world of professional photographers and share their techniques with you. Here's your host, Mark Wallace. Hey everybody, welcome to this week's episode of How They Do That. I'm Mark Wallace. Well, on this week's show, we have an awesome couple. It's Kara and Emir Plichinich, and they are about to launch on something that's unbelievable cool. It's called the Untour. So Kara is a professional wedding photographer based out of Nebraska. She's the author of the book, Your Camera Loves You, Learn to Love It Back. And her husband, Emir, is a web developer and a awesome supporter of what she's doing. In fact, these guys are about to hop on their bicycles. That's right, bicycles, pedal bikes. And they're going to ride across the country while teaching two free courses in each city that they're stopping in. In fact, one is for hobbyists and one is for professionals. And as I mentioned, they are free. It's pretty awesome. They're gonna stop in eight cities. There's San Diego, Phoenix, Las Cruces, Austin, New Orleans, Mobile, Alabama, Tallahassee, and Gainesville, Florida. And all the fun begins on October 17th. So welcome to the show, Kara and Amir. Hi, thanks so much for having us. Hi. Well, thank you so much for being here. I am so excited about our conversation today. I've been reading all of this stuff on untour.com and it's just awesome. So let's start by talking about these two workshops that you have. One is for hobbyists. It's 10 tips to instantly better photos. And the other is for professionals and that's the wickedly fast wedding workflow. So can you guys tell us a little bit about what these are and what you're gonna be doing in each of these cities? Yeah, we will be offering those two different workshops. So one is for other professional wedding photographers. And I know that a lot of people in the industry really struggle with uh, having a good, fast, and efficient workflow. And that's something that I have really made a priority for the past few years. So I'm happy to be sharing what I've learned and the process that I've built with other professional wedding photographers um, so that they can also learn how to edit an entire wedding and design an album in a total of only six to eight hours. So that's, that's really a great one. And then we thought it would be really fun to reach out to not just professionals, but everybody with a camera. So we're also gonna be offering another free class called 10 Tips for Instantly Better Photos. And everyone and anyone with a camera is invite us, invited to join us for that one, where, we'll, where we will be sharing 10 different ways that people can improve their photos instantly using whatever camera it is that they already have. Well, that is phenomenal. I mean, I cannot believe that you've got a workflow that allows you to create a wedding album in eight hours. Uh, my wife is a wedding photographer, has been, and one of the things that she did, it, you know, it sometimes take weeks to create these things. And so you're saying that you can show people how to do this in eight hours, is that right? Six to eight hours to edit the entire wedding and design the album. I've seen her do it. <laughs> he can vouch for it, it happens. <laughs> That, that just blows my mind. I cannot wait. I hope I can zip and I'm going to be gone when you're in Phoenix. So maybe I can get to one of the other cities. Um, so it's going to be awesome. Well, let's talk about this trip because to me, it just seems insane. And I have traveled all over the United States and the world and done some pretty crazy things, but never anything like this. And so it sort of seems like long way around on bicycles. And uh, how did you come up with this idea to hop on the bikes and, and zip around the country? Because you really aren't bicyclists. Is that right? <laughs> Right, we are completely new to cycling, and in fact, we bought our bikes specifically for this trip. So <laughs> it's, it's totally new to us. We are not professional cyclists who know what we're doing, um, and we've never camped before either. So we will be sleeping in uh, a tent on most nights as we make our way across the country and so that's entirely new to us as well so we had to learn about that and get ourselves a tent and sleeping bags and camping stove and all that kind of stuff uh, specifically for this trip so we're learning as we go but we got the idea after <clears throat> After reading a couple of different books that were totally not related, they were not related to photography, they were not related even to cycling, um, but each book in one way or another mentioned a cross-country cycling trip. And the first one was My Life on the Run by Bart Yasso, in which he rides his bicycle across the country, but he does it in only 21 days. <laughs> so that was, that was a little bit of a false um, example, because 
we're not going to do it that fast. And then I read A Million Miles in a Thousand Years, um, or Thousand Years in a Thousand in a Miles in a Million Years, whatever, yeah. um, <laughs> by, Donald by Donald Miller. And in that book, he also rides his bike across the country. And then last but not least, I read The Art of Nonconformity, um, and in that book there was also a mention of a cross-country bicycle trip. And I read all three books, totally unrelated, in a row, and I just thought, I think this is a sign. And wouldn't that be fun? So we decided we were going to do it, and then we thought it would be extra fun if we could could really put an additional purpose behind it. So rather than just us having a good time riding across the country, we thought, let's teach classes along the way and let's make them free and that would be really cool so that's what we're doing <laughs> well that is crazy awesome i just love this um, i love the fact that you read i'm a big reader and so let me just ask you a question i mean do you guys find that reading and looking at things outside of photography impact your artwork and and what you're doing oh my god yes we are avid readers and um I, I don't know what I would do without my book collection. It gets a little bit out of control at times, but I think it's so great for inspiration and ideas, and you never know what you would read in a book and where it's going to take you. And we certainly never knew that we would be doing a trip like this, but we've just had a really great time with um, what we're doing and, and getting a better balance in our life and approaching a more healthy lifestyle for ourselves and and this and combined with the books is is what happens it was this is what happens when you read <laughs> i love that so amir let's ask you a couple questions you're hopping on a bike and you're zipping along with kara you're you're not going to be teaching these workshops or are you i mean what is your role on this trip tell us about you well uh, my role was primarily uh, as you said i'm a web designer slash developer so my role primarily was creating all the website um, properties, all the emails, the wallpapers, design, the jerseys, like pretty, these. like just like these. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that was my primarily ro pri primary role. Uh, and then supporting Kara at what she does. She is doing so much work um, preparing for this tour. And uh, so I'm helping out wherever I can, whether that's helping directly with on-tour stuff or cleaning around the house, you know? <laughs> so that is kind of the role. And I'm probably gonna keep doing that during the road, uh, tour too. Just keep my eye on her, right behind her all the time. Isn't he great? <laughs> so He's that, so that, great. That, that's gonna be fun. Yeah, it's gonna be, you're gonna be security on all those camping trips. That's what you're gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Well, let's talk about the gear that you're going to be taking. Besides the what kind of bicycles? Are these specialized bicycles? Are they Schwinn's? Are they Huffies? Let's start with the cycles, and then let's talk about what kind of laptops, cameras, helmet cams, that kind of stuff. What are you taking with you on this trip? All right. Our bikes are made by Surly. Um, they are called Surly Long Haul Truckers, and this type of cycling is called touring. So we are literally touring across the country. So the bikes that we have are specially built to be touring bikes, which makes them a little bit different than like a race bike would be. Um, so they're made to ride for the long haul. That's why we got long haul truckers. Um, so that's our bikes. The gear that we're bringing with us is as minimal as can be because we're gonna be carrying all of it on the bike. So we want to keep it as lightweight as possible. So for example, the camera that we're bringing with us is just Canon S95. Uh, it's a very compact point and shoot, but it gives us all the manual control um, that we want. So this will be very key. Uh, we're bringing a couple of different tripods. This is the zip shot from Tamrac. So we'll have this with us, as well as the Gorilla Pod from Joby. This little guy will be along. <laughs> Um, and we have a, a uh, helmet mount as well, so we can actually connect the camera to the top of our helmet and film while we're riding, which is pretty cool. And we also have an underwater case for the S95 so that in case we get in any driving rainstorms that we <laughs> could still get some cool footage so people can see what it's really like to be riding your bike across the country and dealing with all the different types of weather that we're going to have. Um, as far as computers, we are going to bring a MacBook Air because it's nice and lightweight. 
And then to keep ourselves powered with our, our smartphones and everything, we actually <clears throat> we found these solar panels. They're made by a company called Goal Zero. And this is the advent or the Guide 10 Adventure Kit, I think. And it's really great. So we can actually mount the solar panels right to the front rack on our bike, and then that'll keep our cell phones powered, and that will enable us to use our GPS tracker so the upsite, <laughs> the website can be updated with our progress as we ride. That is crazy awesome. I just the more I hear about this, the more excited I get. And the, the next question I have, I'm sure that there are going to be thousands of people that are watching this that are asking the same question, and that is, how do I get involved? I mean, can people ride along with you as you're riding? How can they track where you're going? Where's, I mean, is there a blog? People can send you questions and get answers. How can people participate with you on this trip virtually and actually physically ride with you? Is that possible? We would certainly welcome anyone who wants to come and ride with us. <laughs> be fun. That would be fun. We'd love to have guests. Uh, but you do, you would have to stay on schedule with us because we will be eventually going 75 miles each day. So if you're up for that, then you're welcome to join us. Uh, but if you can't make it out on your bike, you could always join us on our website. It's theuntour.com. And we will be blogging from the road with photos and videos, as well as Emir has engineered a GPS tracker uh, that will interface with Google Maps on our website. So you can actually track our progress as we ride across the country. The map will be updated with a little bike that moves, and it'll show you <laughs> precisely where we are. Um, and we also, of course, have a Facebook page. So if you search for The Untour on Facebook, you will find us there as well. Well, in addition to that, we have a YouTube channel and we have a Flickr channel that is also tied in with a website. So kind of website is the hub for it all. You can see the progress, see the latest videos and photos that you'll be like sending from the road, literally. Right. And of course, you can always sign up for one of the free classes through the website as well. Man, I cannot wait. This is going to be awesome. Uh, I mean, I'm not even going to be able to go to the one in Phoenix, but with all this stuff, this interactivity, the videos and the blog and all that kind of stuff, I just cannot wait to see what you guys run into on the road. I know traveling is always an adventure and virtually I can vicariously take the same trip that you're taking and you just can't go wrong with that. It's awesome. So those of you that are watching, I hope you're as excited as I am and that you'll check out theuntour.com and see the adventures of Kara and Emir because it is going to be awesome. Well, guys, unfortunately, we are out of time today. So thank you so much for joining us. Well, thank you so much thank for you. having us. Yeah. It's been a treat. It's really, this is, I'm so excited. So again, it's theuntour.com. It's Kara and Emir Plichnich, so check them out. And always make sure you go check out the Adorama Learning Center because we're going to have this video as well as other videos from how they do that. So you can see what other photographers are doing and you can read some articles. And you can also check out the links to theuntour.com and Kara's amazing work as far as her book and the Wickedly Fast Wedding Workflow and other things. We'll make sure that's all available for you so you can check it out and learn some stuff on your own. Well, thanks again for joining me today and we will see you again in the next episode. This episode is brought to you by Adorama TV. Visit the Adorama Learning Center where you'll find photography tips and techniques, links to the gear used in this episode and related videos. For all the latest photography, video, and computer gear, visit Adorama.com. And the next time you're in New York City, visit our store located on 18th Street between 5th and 6th Avenue.